Hey guys, welcome to this episode of The Passionate Few. Today we're covering the Afters Ice Cream story and talking to Scott and Andy, two dudes behind it, about how they created the Milky Bunny culture. So I hope you guys enjoy the story about how they fused art with the foodie world and became millionaires in the process. Enjoy. Where did afters come from? How, you know, how did it come about? Years ago, I've had this idea like for a dessert place that could kind of involve the younger youth culture instead of like you know the basket robbers, the Coke stones, and kind of bring people together and and solve a problem. And my thing has always been a solving problem. So the problem was, you know, we go eat dinner, and after dinner, where do we go? Like Scott said, well, there's there's a problem. We're trying to solve it. Like there's no late night crowd. Um, all the ice cream stores are like a little corny, a little old. We're bringing that like, you know, our stores are black and white, it has all these crazy terms against the walls. Uh, the music is like pulsating. Hip hop and EDM music is just like completely different. You don't expect that walking into an ice cream store. I grew up in this city, so I've seen this plaza go through uh, a lot of changes and um, to see this many people out here supporting afters and us, you know, is a really good feeling, man. You wake up in the morning, you have a choice of what you want to do. And you know, sometimes, you know, work comes in more play. And sometimes like, I think like after like six months of opening afters, we were like straight chilling for like, and we're like, yeah, we're going to be chilling forever <laughs> until all these problems started slamming in. And then we were like, okay, well, we're going to get focused. Everything's got to go focused on afters at this point. And then, um, yeah, I mean, just, you're, you know, you dictate it, your life dictates it, your work dictates what you're going to do. And uh, you just, if you want to come along for the ride, you do. <laughs> if not, you chill. At the pace that it's going, of course, like, we, you know, we, we only shoot for the stars. Like, we, we know it's going to be big, you know, but can't predict it. One year is completely different than next year. We didn't know we were going to be at nine stores right now. We only hope for it. We're getting a little better at it as time goes on. Like we know, like there's things outside of work that we need to focus on, like family and hanging out. And, but if you're in this position, you know that like, you don't get this opportunity all the time. So we're trying to make sure that we take advantage of it. One of our big goals is to. You know, if you haven't heard of us, you know, we're, we're coming and you're going to hear about us. So we want to be able to, everybody to have a taste of it or at least experience what, you know, why we're so big and why we're so popular and what made us who we are. Things move so fast right now. And remember, we're only two and a half years old. Like, a lot of people are, are still working on their first store. We have nine stores or like, still, you know, it's fast. and. We're, we're trying our best to enjoy that moment and continue growing at the same time. So. What we realize is that our teams in our stores end up being, you know, really, really good friends at the end. When other places you're going to work and you're just like, hey, and then bye. But our places actually, they hang out after work, they hang out during work. So it's, it really helps with us building the lifestyle, the culture. And then as, you know, me and Andy get older and older, the culture actually becomes them and they are, you know, the brand. How do we go so fast? Teamwork, that's probably the biggest thing. Teamwork, 
willing to expand, willing to learn. Openness, like wanting everyone wanting to, to, to see the, the brand grow. I think uh, all of us working together and setting goals. I think that's how we, you know, setting goals and hunting and everyone playing their role. That, I think that, that really uh, mattered in how, how fast we've grown. Just find out what your values are and then that's how I'm gonna pretty much approach like what I want to do and how I want to effectively reach those goals. When you're young, you make a lot of money, you try and pop models in the club. It's not the smartest thing to do. Learning how to work with a team. A lot of people have different personalities, so you gotta talk to people a little differently. Um, learning how to grow up, you know, and become a leader and, and understand that you're in charge of other people's lives and not just your life at stake anymore, everyone's life at stake. It's tough because like when you get into that realm where you can sit at home all day and do nothing, and then it's your own, your own will to try to get up and do something about it, it changes things. And then once you are there, you know, what keeps you motivated, you know, obviously there's family, there's friends, like staying successful, and there's always, you know, the haters make you work harder. It's true, I mean, all that stuff is, comes into play to make you get up in the morning and continue, and continue working hard, continue succeeding. And uh, like from, like it ends up being like, sometimes it ends up being like a game, like how much more can I succeed? How much more can I accomplish? You know, you get addicted to it. When you, do, when you do well, you want to continue doing better. When people say you can't do it, you want to make sure you can prove them wrong. So you want to make sure that you, you, you have a great story to tell at the end of your lifetime. Journeys is, is a great thing to fail and succeed because you have this great, amazing story to tell. You don't want to go, cool, I just woke up and I was rich. No, you want to, when you watch a movie, you want to see them going through like, like problems. You want to see like the climax. You want to see all these things all together. So it's like a great story. If you have a dream and that is what you solely want to do with your life and make an impact on the things that you inspire to do, then see them out. Go all the way till, till you can't do it anymore, and then if that doesn't work, try something else, you know? Just don't stop. No matter how successful we get or all the money we have in the world, we're gonna do something. Whether it's trying to make money or helping other people, like it's gonna be something. We're gonna continue doing something. Well, folks, that's it for this episode. I hope you guys really enjoyed the after story. If you guys want to hear the full scoop on how Andy and Scott went from being nothing to a whole lot of something, uh, be sure to click the link anywhere in here or somewhere in the bio below. As always, live strong and live with passion. Stay tuned for more.